everybody, it's me, Zombie, and I have Adam here with me. He has some pretty cool stuff to show off today. And as you know, he's been working on Roadhog for the past few months, and he's made a lot of progress. So without further ado, go ahead and show us what you got done so far. You got a lot done. I'll start with the stuff that I was halfway done last time. Uh, keep in mind, I have taken a little break from this. It's taken me a little bit of time to get this all done, but I'm happy with what I have. So we'll start with the shoulder. I, just, I think I had this the closest to done last time. Uh, but you can see it's all painted and weathered and together. And I can go like this and it looks like a shoulder piece. Uh, so I think last time it was just unpainted. So I just painted it yellow and I painted the silver parts and I weathered it up. You can see it up nice and close. It looks pretty all right. That's awesome. And I remember this part was detached last time. Yeah, so and this, now it's all... This is still that squishy foam that I cast and, and there's the rubber on top and this is the Sintra. So, a lot of fun. How did you get it to stick on there just right? Um, oh, this is really interesting. Did I talk about this? I actually casted this uh, in a, like, while this was still, while this was on there, so it conformed mm -hmm. to the curves. Uh, and then I glued it on with some, I think, super glue or epoxy, one of the two. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah. it looks really cool on your shoulder. Can we see it again? Yeah. Nice. It's looking good. Heck yeah, dude. It looks awesome. Then the next piece I had partially done was the elbow piece. <gasps> Oh my gosh, the yellow looks so cool. This was, uh, I had barely anything done on this last time. This was uh, another one of those, like I used like a bunch of different things to, to make this. So you saw I had the foam done last time. So then I went and 3D modeled these little plugs. Um, this was done in uh, Fusion 360. I printed those out. One of these is 3D printed, one of them is a cast, because uh, I didn't hollow cast, and it's really fucking heavy. So I was like, this one's really heavy. <laughs> um, and then I just painted them with some, some lacquer paints and weathered them up. These little bits over here are actually Sintra, uh, the, the flaps are, um, which is a like a PVC foam. It's like PVC, basically. Nice. Um, and then these are just foam. Cut those out of foam and stuck that all together, painted it, weathered it up, and that's going to be the elbow. That is awesome. It looks so cool. Thank you. I like how like big all these pieces are too, but they're like, they fit you perfectly. <laughs> they're, they're huge. Like, put on your elbow. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's <laughs> <But. laughs> <That's> ridiculous. <laughs> but that's awesome though. Thank Makes you. you so well. And then one of my favorite pieces that was not even started back then was, let me see which way it goes, this way, was my my shoulder tire. That looks badass. Um, this was primarily, there's two things. It's foam for the tire. I just stacked some foam together, uh, cut it on a bandsaw, cut it in a little bit of a bevel. You can see it where it contours there mm -hmm. or where it curves there. Um, just dug these out with a wood burning tool. In hindsight, I wish I had a better way to cut out curves out of things, but mm -hmm. that's all a learning process. And these things that look like butt plugs, I 3D, <laughs> I 3D modeled those and printed those out as well. Printed one out and made two castings. They're actually all a little bit different because uh, the mold at the very tip, for some reason, had trouble mm. um, curing right until I pulled it out. So they're all a little bit different at the tip, but that's okay. And one of them broke and I sanded it down so it's a little chunky. Really, one of them broke? Yeah, like the, what, you just, can't even tell. Just the, the tippy tip tip. Huh. So I had to sand it down to a new point. Just the tip. Uh, Krylon Premium Chrome, so it's not even a lacquer, Ooh. but the, the shine looks still good on them. It looks great. Um, one piece that I started, and I'm probably gonna have to redo, but I figured I'd just show it here anyway, is I started the vest. Look I, how big this thing is. That's the problem, is I made it way too big. Oh really, you think so? I think so, yeah. Um, but it's all out of EVA. So, yeah, this is just like in an afternoon out of EVA. Mm -hmm. I tried to make it, like I tried to sew a vest, and that came out looking like poop because I can't sew. So I was like, I'll just do that out of EVA. And um, I don't think I like it that much, so I'm gonna restart this thing. Uh, at some point. A learning process though. Yeah, I think so too. Planning on redoing it even. Um, another 3D modeling project was the winch. So I took about an evening or an afternoon to do Can these pieces. Can we hold some for you? Yeah, hold these two. Ooh. This is actually wow. really a super fun, easy project. Uh, he has a little winch that he carries his, uh, his, his hook chain on. Uh, so I modeled that, printed it out, cleaned it all up, painted it with some, some uh, all clad lacquers. Actually, the gray is a gunmetal lacquer from Tamiya. The gold is a pale gold all clad lacquer. Ooh, I love the gunmetal in Tamiya so I much. I love the gunmetal oh, too. It's so good. I love the contrast of the gold and the and the gunmetal. I think it looks really awesome. It looks so good. You did such a good job. Thank you so much. Proud of you. Uh, probably the last big thing, this is probably what I spent the most time on, was this guy. I think this is my favorite piece so far. It's not done um, by any means, but um, this was my first large 3D model. I think this was actually the first thing I modeled and printed and finished. I used a reference to basically lay as a canvas. 
I traced around it. I did some, I did lofts to create these shapes here. Um, it was mostly straightforward besides this curve. This was a really hard thing for me to learn. Again, for, for those of you who do modeling, probably a lot easier. I did this in Fusion 360. Um, I found that this sort of thing was a little bit complicated in that, or a little bit convoluted in that program. I basically had to draw the cross section from here to here to here and then loft it this way and then mirror that on the other side. But anyways, um, this printed out in four big pieces. Uh, oh, one, wow. two, three, and four. Uh, got those all put together. You can't even see the seams, which I'm very proud of. No, you did such a good job finishing this up. You can't even tell it was ever a 3D model. Thank you. Uh, and then these were also three different pieces, but those are easy. Clean those up, stuck them in. All this is held together by a five or two minute epoxy. No, a five minute epoxy, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I sprayed, sprayed it with an offside lacquer, an offside chrome. Wow. Um, it's not done. You can tell that this is all painter's tape. I have to, I want to get another layer of all cloud on there. And I also want to weather it up pretty nice. And then I got to get the, he has like a little wrap that he puts on there. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the hook. That is incredible. I, it's, huge, it's huge compared to a, a Oh person. my gosh. This is an atom size hook. It is. It's a roadhog size yeah. hook, for, for real. I couldn't get like an actual scale to how large it should be in real life, but I took one that would fit my body. My gosh. Um, I basically yeah, took- this is awesome. I scaled it so that this would, I could just about get my finger around this because <laughs> it's a huge handle, <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so yeah, that's my progress now. I got some, some big things left. I gotta get the mask done. Mm -hmm. um, he has a gun in his back that I have to make. Um, and then I gotta make little adjustments and make finish the vest again. And then he's most of the way there. Awesome. How are you planning on finishing some of the future pieces that you're gonna be working on? So he has a bunch of little jewelry. Um, mm -hmm. And all of that I'm gonna 3D print uh, and finish that up because I love like making those little teeny pieces look awesome by 3D, 3D modeling them. Mm -hmm. um, everything, I, everything I print, I will model. Oh, promise cool. you that. I don't want to. I don't want to take anyone else's models. Uh, as far as the helmet goes or the mask goes, I'm sort of split. I'm trying to learn ZBrush, uh, which is like a digital sculpting, um, and I could do that, and I could sculpt his mask and print it that way. Um, but I also kind of want to learn uh, traditional sculpture, um, which I practiced a little bit. I'm not very good at it, but I think I have confidence that I could eventually crank out something that looked like his mask. Um, it's a little hard to get like a head form for me because of the beard. Yeah. So I found a, a method of like, you take this wire mesh and you fold it around your face to get like a quick form mm -hmm. and you back that with some plaster to keep the shape huh. and you sculpt on that. Interesting. Well, that's cool. We should do that together. Yeah. That's, that's a process that I'm, I'm going to try potentially if I don't end up 3D modeling it. And then the rest of the stuff will just be a mixture of foam and, and, and 3D modeled stuff. That's awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time and showing us all of your cool things. I know everybody has been asking lots of questions about your Roadhog cosplay. Oh. I can't wait to see it all together. Uh, what's what's the plan as far as like an ETA for when this is going to be done? <laughs> You'll definitely see it at RTX. So you'll see it at RTX. <laughs> awesome. So that's this July. That's this July. Awesome. Well, cool. You got a lot of time, but you better get to work. I got a lot man. of work and a lot of time. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks. thanks everybody and I hope you had a fun time watching this video as much fun as we had showing all these cool pieces to you. If you like the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tell us how excited you are for Adam's Roadhog cosplay right down below in the comments. Thanks and I'll see you next time everybody. Bye! Bye.